Hi, this is Paul from Halligan Design, and we're going to go over how to create a new photo gallery um, using the Beaver Builder front end builder. Um, we're logged into the site, and we're here. We're on a uh, we're on the gallery archive page that shows that there's four galleries on this site. Um, the quickest way for us to create a new gallery is to go to one of the existing gallery pages. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this page and then create <clears throat> a new gallery. So we're going to first click on, up at the top, we're going to click on Page Builder. And once Page Builder is loaded, we'll see this little carrot up at the top. We'll click on the carrot and we'll click Duplicate Layout. So what that's going to do is make a copy of this page and it takes us to the WordPress uh, front end or, or WordPress dashboard and what we would do here is rename the, uh, the gallery. So we'll call this February 20th gallery. Um, and then what we're also going to want to do is we're going to want to change the permalink here. So if we click on edit, we can go in, we could copy what we have here for the title and paste it in for the permalink and click OK. Um, and that'll set up our permalink for February 20th, 2018. Um, once that's done, we click Publish. And once it finishes saving, we're going to click Launch Page Builder. So now we're on a duplicate of the page. Um, on the front end where we can go in and update the images. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to see that when we mouse over we have the outer box and the inner box active. If we click on the inner box uh, what we're going to be able to do now is edit the gallery. So there's 60 images in this gallery. Uh, we're going to click edit gallery and what we're going to do first is we're going to delete the images that are there. Um, and if you put your mouse over the little X and just leave your mouse there and just keep clicking until you get through all of the images that are in that gallery, you'll empty out the gallery and we'll be able to start with a brand new fresh gallery. So there's 60 images here, so there's quite a few. We get to the land of it. And now we could select new images. So if we're going to bring them in from our desktop, we could simply click Select Images, Select Files, uh, that'll navigate you to your desktop and you can import your images. Uh, for this, we're going to um, just use images that are already in the media gallery. Um, so by clicking Add to Gallery, we can um, come here. We could just say we just picked these first 10 images. If you hold down the Shift, click through them, that'll select all of the images. We'll click Add to Gallery. Give it a few seconds to uh, do its thing. Um, and now we'll see that there are 10 images in the gallery. Um, the galleries that were in the media library already had captions, so those captions are appearing. But if there weren't captions under the photograph, it's very simple to add the captions by just clicking Edit Gallery again. And right underneath the thumbnail, we'll see that there's a space for the caption. Just go ahead and add your gallery or update the gallery. And then click Update Gallery. Um, takes us back to the edit window here. Um, and that's pretty much it for creating a new gallery. Once we're done with that, we would click Done. And that would now give us the option to save that page. Um, to publish it or discard it. Um, we're going to discard this because we don't really want to save it, um, but that would take us to the end of creating a gallery. Next step, once we discard that, is we're going to go to um, under About, we're going to go to that Photo Gallery Archive page. So now we see that we've got four galleries listed here, but we just added a new one, so there's a fifth one that has to be added in here. So what we're going to do is um, 
First, we're going to do, um, go to click on Page Builder. And what we need to do is we need to add a new image just before this one. So um, it's not quite as simple as just adding it. I think what we have to do is we have to rearrange these images in here. Um, so it, it's a matter of you know, dragging this one down to this position by clicking on the little move button in the upper left hand corner, moving it down, moving the caption down, um, and then just doing the rearrange. It's the rearrange dance. Here we go. We'll delete. No, we won't delete. What we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this image now. And drag the duplicate over here. We're going to duplicate the caption underneath. Oh, wrong button. Hit duplicate. And we'll just click that, move it here. We'll just tuck that in there. Um, and now we could just replace the image. Pick an image, select photo, edit your caption, put in a new caption. Um, the second line is done with a shift return as opposed to a hard return, and that gives us the tighter space. If we did a, a regular return, um, we'll see that there's a lot of extra space in here. Um, so the way to keep that tight is just do a shift return, and it'll give you a nice uh, soft return there. So if we just click Done. Oh, uh, one other thing we have to do is um, on the image, what we want to do is we want to create a link when you click on the image to go to the gallery. So what we would need to do is to capture that URL um, of the gallery we just collected just created, and that would involve going to the um, pages, clicking on page view and click view. It'll load that page, copy the URL, and then in this window here, we'll see that we could paste in a URL for that gallery. Um, so just copy, paste it in here, click select, and then save, um, click done. We'll discard this, but once that's uh, saved, then you would have uh, the updated archive for the photo galleries. And that's it. That's a quick um, overview on how to add galleries and how to add a new archive photo to the photo gallery archive. Any questions, please contact me, Paul, at Halligan Design. Thank you.